Okay, so much sooner than expected and we're back. I ended up ringing two separate garages and getting two different quotes, both for exactly the same thing. What they both said was that potentially, depending on what's happened with the leaking and stuff like that, that the dual mass flywheel may need changing, exactly as I said in part one as well. So at a cost of six, seven, eight hundred pounds just for that part, I was hoping that it wasn't gonna be wrecked by the leaking of fluid all over it, but it turns out that it was in the end. So we had to go for that and we had to have that replaced. I definitely considered having that upgraded and going for a higher spec one, but for the extra cost and for actually the way that I drive the car, it, I decided it wasn't worth it. So I've just gone for a factory kind of uh, replacement as well. So we're completely factory, but we're back on the road, which is the most important thing. So what was it that actually failed? Well, it was the clutch slave cylinder. So I managed to get the garage to let me take it away, which was useful so that I could show you and have a look exactly what it is. So this ordinarily would sit right in the clutch assembly, obviously through the drive. And when you put your foot on the clutch, it forces fluid in and out of this kind of hose, which what it's meant to do then is squash this down. There we go, if I can do it like that, you see it's meant to squash it up and down. And what should happen is when you kind of, if I block that, it should stay in that position, but you can see it comes straight up. And hopefully if I can get it so you can hear it, if I do it here, hopefully you can hear that gas release. And what's actually happening is around here, you can actually see, or when it first did it, you can see the seal where it's kind of, it was bubbling up in the last bit, the fluid was actually coming out. So it's the seal in that part that's actually gone or failed so basically what was happening was when i was putting my foot on the pedal it was staying down it was just springing it back up and it wasn't holding it down or it wasn't pushing it back up should we say so so that's the part that failed and that in itself was probably only 70 60 70 quid which is really annoying because we've labor obviously to get it done like i said i needed the car back faster once it's off once you've got the gearbox removed from the engine which is what you need to do to access that because it's not an external one it's an inline one then obviously you're gonna replace the clutch as well and like i say my dual mass flywheel was damaged at the same time so we had to have that replaced so my bill all in with labor and recovery let's not forget that i had to get the car recovered because it was on the driveway i need to get the garage to come and pick it up it was much easier than faffing around i just put it all into their basket let them all do it, it was about 1900 pound all in so not far off two grand just because of that failed part there but we're now we're back on the road the car feels really good again the clutch pedal feels a lot softer than it used to so it's working more efficiently and actually when the missus drove the car she said that the brakes even feel different which would make sense realistically because it's all fed from the same fluid master reservoir or master cylinder should we say so it would make sense that if you was pushing the brakes potentially it could leak all the way back through the system and out to that so i'm really happy that that's actually been done now and we're really good and back to full power so we can see obviously it's all working perfectly. It's all back to where it should be. So I'm really happy. So the good news is that now this is replaced, the car's back on the road. It was literally in the end, only about four or five days, maybe less than that to be fair. So that means we can get back on it, get back on the videos, get back on the maintenance. This weekend is the Jubilee weekend. So I'm actually gonna have a weekend off this weekend, just put another little light video out for next week. And then fingers crossed, the weather will be good to us and we can look and get in these calipers sprayed and hopefully even the wheels refurbished in the good weather that we're meant to be getting. So for today, like I say, that's it. Apologies, it's not too much of a tutorial today, just more about an information video about what you can expect with cost and stuff like that. If you have the same problem, you know, your clutch pedal goes straight to the floor. Don't forget that this is the 170 brake horsepower, the Veloce, so it's not the QV, but it is more than the Lusso as well. So your car might be different to this, obviously, when it comes to getting prices for those parts. But for now, really appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. Like I always say, don't forget to subscribe coming up here now more subscribers the more likes i get the more videos i'm going to keep making as well there's quite a few bits that i really want to still get done on the car a few suspension bits brakes tires and stuff like that wheels so yeah remember to hit subscribe and i'll see you on the next one thanks very much really appreciate it